What is going on? My reefing fam, March here. This is Fragbox TV, and again, we have problems with another product giving us stray voltage. Okay, let me start from the beginning and tell you what happened. All of our Zoas that were growing, they look like fart. And I'm gonna link in the description if you haven't seen the other video where we lost virtually everything because of a heater that broke in here and then tick 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 nice electricity and water. Okay, it's starting to look a little bit better because I started taking uh, or adding stuff to the water to help take out some of the metal. But they look really crappy and upset and polyp extension like basically gone on all of the acro right now. So we have this maxi jet that was running in the basement. Yeah, yeah, get out of here, Dougie. I hope the camera can pick up on this and I can show you what happened. Look at the impeller. Check this thing out, nice. So for lack of a better word, the thing like basically exploded when I plugged it in. I'm gonna explain to you how I found it out of all the things that are plugged in here because we have a lot of plugs in this store. Maybe you can see here two little bits of metal from the magnet and that's all inside the water now. You see right there? Look at the top of the shaft. And if you could smell it, sniff. It smells burnt. It smells like, you know that, that plasticky burning smell? Uh, yeah, it smells like that. Really bad. So I'm in here with the basement, uh, in the basement with my friend Patrick, and I noticed that the flow on this tank is off. So we have these power heads along the side here, and they're not on. So I go and check out the power bar that they are connected to down there and the power bars off and I think that's weird and I go and I turn it back on thinking you know maybe one of the staff turned it off just to do um, sort of like a cleaning and then 10 minutes later everyone in the store starts smelling this burning smell burning smell and we start looking everywhere so I'm looking at all the different plugs we have most of our stuff is put away in these kind of like electrical boxes like this so that they're not going to get wet. We have a lot of plugs here in the store and there's six of us here and we cannot find this thing. We're going up and down, we're checking every single plug one by one looking for issues. Ah, you know what? Good thing we're making this video. I see an issue. Look at this condensation. I have this condensation on this line and it could drop right into here and create exactly what we don't want. Okay, that was an easy fix. I just ran it here along the bottom. So we're searching high and low. I'm looking everywhere in the store. I'm checking out uh, in here. You know, we're all sniffing like crazy people. Looking, 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 looking. Can't find anything. Eventually we go home. Next day come in, power bar's off again. I start thinking, okay, something's up here. Um, so all the Zoas are closed. Everything looks awful. We didn't lose any fish. So I take each pump that's connected to the power bar and my trusty voltmeter and I start looking for some stray voltage and I finally narrowed it down to that maxi jet upstairs. I go and plug it in in a bucket of water and the sounds that came out of this thing, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna recreate it, but it was like boom 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 and then it tripped the breaker and, and that was it. Okay, how do you avoid something like that happening at home? I don't know. Maxi jets I always thought were reliable. I've have been using them for years. Like that's a very old hobby pump that's been around for absolutely ever it's that one right there maxi jet nine uh, 900 or 1200 so now i know i have some metals in the water and everything's looking a little pissy so what i do is i run these two in conjunction this is metazorb from two little fishies to re remove um basically any here metal absorbing polymer and then i use this too heavy metals along with a big bag of carbon and that usually is going to help so the Zoas, I think they get the most affected from things like that sort of stray voltage. Everything else look okay. And then I'm gonna do one of these today actually, cause it's Thursday and every Thursday, what we do here in the store is send out um, water samples to Fauna. And we have them back faster than anything I've ever had before. We have results back by next Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday. Send them out today and then we get them back right away. So this will tell me if there's any leftover heavy metals in the tank. Now we're gonna go put this thing where it belongs. Goodbye. And this we'll keep as a souvenir to remind us of something. I don't know what to remind us of. Comment below. What is this being kept to remind us of? So, look, my souvenir drawer. This is when we tried to send some denitrifying bacteria to Australia. They take it very seriously over there. Look at this. The goods directed for export from Australian Territory Biosecurity Act. Here, you're going in my, my souvenir drawer. Looks like Tia has been given some love to her Studio 12. Man, looking really good.
good. Uh, yeah, how do we avoid something like that? I'm still out to lunch on these products here. Every time something like this happens, I go online and then start reading about these grounding probes. And I'm still not sure. Maybe we have some electricians out there that are watching these videos and can tell us if something like this titanium grounding probe will help. Look, protects against unwanted stray voltage. But I don't know. When I read online, Reef Central, Reef to Reef, all these reefs, some people say that that is actually um, not going to solve it. That is not the answer. Anyways, so we're going to wrap up this video a little bit shorter than usual. If you like the content, uh, hit the subscribe button so you get notified when we do this again and we will see you guys back here shortly enough. Goodbye everybody out there watching this video from Mr. Diggs.